Hello everyone, welcome to the AMC Tech video series. In the previous video, I have explained how to analyze the particle size using ImageJ software. In this video, I will explain an advanced technique to estimate the particle size. But before that, I recommend you to pre watch my previous video which is explained the basics of the ImageJ software. Okay, let's start. First of all, you have to open the CM image. In the description, you can find the link for these two examples. I will go to the first one. This is the preview. So, first of all, you have to set the scale. I have previously explained those things, so I will go. Uh, I will go through those things quickly. Okay, now I have set the scale. First of all, I have to select a specific region for my calculation. For that, I use this rectangle tool and select the area like this. Okay. Now, I will take this as a duplicate one. I will leave it here. Right. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to use the analyze particle function. But before that, the software should know the boundaries of these particles. For that, we have to do the threshold adjustment. Okay, so go to threshold, then it will identify the particle like that. You can change the threshold level and select the particle boundary as well. You can use that auto function. And also, there are a few functions given here. You can try each and every one. The default will give you much better view. And also, the color profile also you can change. Here. Okay, in the auto mode, it has selected some boundaries, but you can see there are some dots around these particles. We have to remove those things. So, I will reset my view. Close this one. So, let me do few tunings before go for the threshold tooling. So, go to the process FFT and bandpass filter. In here, we are going to em we are going to emit that is small pixels. So you have to give those values according to your images. So in here, the small structure should be in the range of one to five. But it depends on your image. Okay, just try these settings. Okay. What it have done is 
if my image has only one of two pixels it will omit this it will omit those pixels and fill those space with the particular color okay let's try resolving now right now we have better look and better boundaries you can change the threshold level according to your sample in here you have to consider few few points if you look around here i'll zoom it in these particles are in very close proximity so sometimes the software cannot identify identify those boundaries so when you change the threshold you should be careful to distinguish those boundaries and also if you further threshold that will reduce the particle size so you have to maintain the optimum level this much is enough right now i'm going to apply these settings to my image then we can go for the analyze particle right you have to provide this information what are those information the size the size range of the particle to view that you can do rough estimation so i will close this one for now i will go to the polygon tool then i am going to roughly measure the area of this particle what we have to do measure it will give this much of area Ten to the power six order. So, our highest particle should go around that one. Okay, I will leave it here, and also I will measure the small size. I will take this. Again, analysis measure. Okay, we have the smaller size also. Not the smallest one, but it should be in the range of this size. So now we have idea about those values. Let's zoom out this one for a bit. Right. Then we can go again for analyze particles. okay then the maximum size it doesn't matter because we can give it up to infinity but the initial size we should provide otherwise it will count very small particles also so i will give around 2000 or just 1000 no. okay the circularity you can put put it as a default and here uh, you can you can visualize the particle selection by clicking any parameter here i will use all a mark and specially you have to you have to put the ticks for these things 
we, we need to see the result and also before the analysis the previous result should be erased so clear result and also the ex, uh, the particles at the edges should be ex excluded otherwise it will give half values and also put the tick pin the include false and also add to many edges i will explain in a minute about this one put ok uh, it asks us to whether we need to save our previous result or not yeah, I don't need this one, so I will put no. The error message says there is no particle between the size range which I have provided earlier. Have I done anything wrong? Yes, I have done. Look carefully here. I have selected a specific area to calculate the smallest particle size but I forgot to remove the uh, selected area so it's scanning whether the particles are available in this region around the size range which I have given earlier it's not possible so it's wrong so deselect this by clicking anywhere else then we can go we can do it again so go to the analysis in this particle I'll leave it thousand all the things set okay let's do okay okay now we have the result right has selected 41 particles and we can see the distribution also okay, we have a distribution and also if you want we can take the statistical data also the mean the mean size the mean particle size is that much okay how we know whether all these shapes are fitted well so we can duplicate our selected region again then by clicking the show all button again here we can have the look on here as you can see the shapes here has omitted because those are in the edges and here also same ok I hope you understand the procedure and also you can try yourself with this sample okay that's enough for this video in the next video i will explain few other techniques which can use with the image software if you have any doubt or any suggestions don't hesitate to put a comment if you got something from this video give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching